Hey guys, it's Joanna from Nesting Story. Today I wanted to take you with me while I create my Christmas list for my kids and start my Christmas shopping. Thank you to Play School for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. So this year I'm really trying to change my ways and improve my lifestyle. And that has included purging our house, that has included being very conscious about what purchases I make, and another thing is about not doing things last minute. Now this year we had planned initially to go away for Christmas and last minute we decided to delay it a year. But when I had planned to go away, I thought, you you know what I'm gonna do all my Christmas shopping way earlier in the fall so that I can actually really enjoy the Christmas holiday so when I decided to delay that trip I decided I'm still gonna stick with this plan because I am also hosting extended family for Christmas Eve this year so there's just zero way I'm going to want to Christmas shop or wrap those gifts then I'm just gonna make a list here that I can bring with me to the store Okay, my list is made. I've tried to make a combination of fun toys to play with, with that are imaginative, and also throwing some educational toys in there for each of them. Okay, I've got my list. It's time to go shopping. I feel really good about getting them a few toys this year because I've been doing a lot of purging and I know I've gone through what they're using. I have a good idea of what's been tossed or donated. We've really pulled back this whole year of birthdays between how elaborate birthday parties are and really how many gifts they're getting. So I feel really good about giving them a few gifts each for Christmas. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I've been going too crazy with gifts this year and I'm really thinking ahead. Okay, just arrived, I'm about to go shop. I'm thinking this is gonna be something I stick to every year. So something I'm definitely gonna include with our kids' toys is some games, because we're making an awesome game spot in the basement. Oh my gosh, this is the one. This is the one I'm so excited for. Wait, one ticklish monster! <laughs> Okay, I'm home now and I cannot wait to show you what I got. I'm gonna show you in my bedroom because I'm gonna have to be hiding these for a little while, so I'll show you. So when it came to deciding who gets what, I really had to think about everyone's ages and stages. Holden is eight, he's into anything techy, he loves games, and he's very into like video games. Bo is six and a half, she loves anything very imaginative. And Mia and Everly, our twins, are three. They love playing mommy, pretending they have a house, or playing with Play-Doh and making food. And they love anything that's like cuddly and soft and any kind of like talking toys. Um, they find, I actually find they bring those ones to bed with them each night because it's just such a comfort item for them. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you what I got for Holden. Um, I'm super excited about it. I got him the Transformers Autobot Squeaks and it's like a remote control little robot. It's so cute. Then as Holden's kind of educational toy and game, I got him Jenga, which it's a classic. I think we all had that as a kid. Here's a bigger gift I got for Holden. It's the Nerf AccuStrike Raptor Strike. Holden doesn't play imaginatively that often, but when he does, it's always with Nerf blasters. And whenever he has friends over, that's what they like to play with. So I thought that looked really fun. Okay, so for Bo's gifts, I got Bo the My Little Pony movie uh, Seashell Lagoon toy. I think she's going to love this. And then for Bo's game toy, I got her Fantastics Gymnastics game and it looks really fun this looks like something Bo would play with for hours but basically um, the little gymnastics guy needs to stick the landing and does some acrobats there now for Bo's bigger gift check out this guy this is roaring tiger it's for real friends 
and Bo loves playing anything with animals. Ever since she was really young is anything to do with animals and her stuffies has been like very important to her. I think she would really play with this for hours. Okay, this is probably the gift I am most excited about and I think it's like for personal nostalgic reasons but also they're gonna love them. I got Tickle Me Elmo's for Mia and Everly and they are so adorable. So I'm gonna tell you a story about Elmo and my childhood from way back to when I can first remember. I was one of four kids and my mom always had a routine, especially for my younger sister and I from when we were very young, we were toddlers and I remember this very clearly. Every day, every morning, late morning, when Sesame Street would come on, we would watch Elmo. She would make us homemade Raisin Bran muffins. They were so good. And a little cup of tea. And we would sit there every single day and watch Sesame Street and Elmo. And just, there's something very comforting to me about those characters. And it really brings me back to my childhood. I'm so excited that me and I really enjoy Sesame Street just as much and have a special bond with those characters as well. So this is something that I think the whole family will enjoy, but especially me and Everly. So I know the girls are just gonna start laughing when you, they hear Elmo's laugh. It's so contagious, just like a little girl I know. I find Everly's laugh especially the most contagious laugh ever. <laughs> Also for me and Everly, I got the Play-Doh Kitchen Creations um, Magical Oven. Now our kids all love Play-Doh, so I'm sure this is gonna be a family toy, but it's gonna be a shared gift, mostly for Mia and Everly. The last two toys for me and Everly, I'm debating about if I'm going to get duplicates. I have a feeling that I can't give one to one and then one to the other. I think I might give them each their own. I got the Baby Alive Sweet Tears Baby. You can give her a tissue, you can check her temperature. She cries. You can pretend to listen to her heart and she even drinks so they're gonna love this they love playing mommy and doctor and they're almost always playing with babies okay the last is this guy which you can probably hear which is cracking me up getting ready for my big audition so this is uh chatty charlie hey could you scratch my back and he's pretty adorable so thank you for coming with me and getting my christmas shopping started and well underway thank you again to play school for sponsoring this video and for more information about tickle me elmo click the link below so if you like this video hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet i'd love for you to subscribe and if you have subscribed thank you so much it means so much to all of us i'll see you guys soon bye